Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Diddy. Mm. This morning, drinking some delicious coffee, talking about the charts and Bitcoin a little bit because it's Sunday and it's a beautiful day to show you what I think that next week is going to happen. So watch the video till the end. There's like one, two, three, four, five, and made five. Five, that's five. five amazing charts in the video um, that you really need to see. And yes, I didn't make a video for a very long time, like three, four days. I needed some time um, to reset um, as it was a very busy, busy period. Now, let's quickly jump into the amazing charts to show you what is happening. Let's jump into the first one over. The first one, of course, uh, like you use, is a four-hour chart. And on the four-hour chart, we use uh, the Bitcoin uh, Bam Bam family indicator that tells us when to buy, when to sell. Um, if you want to trade with an indicator, I would recommend to trade, for example, on Bybit. You can scan the QR code or you can click on the links down below the video and claim up to, up to a bonus of $4,400 US dollar at the moment. You get 30% on your fee discount and you get access to the bit launch pad when you use my link. Now, so if you want to trade, click on those uh, links or use this referral QR code. Now, on this four hour chart, guys, we can see something really cool. We can see that buy signal over here that was a really nice valid bicycle uh, with the purple triangles and the green flag huge green hills the blue line above it perfect perfect indication um, if we would have taken it over here for example um, and we would exit at the wrong flag we would have six percent now that short flag is also a perfect um, indicator again we have a red short flag and we close down below the stepping line over here at the yellow triangle that is also where the red, yellow um, area starts and the blue line crossed, it, crossed already the white line. That was a um, less profit. We would have taken it, for example, over there. And then you would exit, for example, over there. But it's still 1.5% without leverage. And that was followed up again by a long. So that's what the Bam Bam indicator is doing. It's giving you indications. When is there a lot of volume? When is the market positive? When should you take a long? Okay. Now, let's zoom slowly out. We zoom out to this chart over here. This is the day chart. Ah, this is really cool because um, on the day chart, you can still see all the symbols that I have put on there. Like who, uh, the last time I made a video, it's like four or five days ago, I made a TA video. Um, it's still on. So on that day chart at that moment, I told you, look, if we are going to break that white line, because we have tried that many times that's what i tried to show you with those yellow circles you saw resistance 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 but we are coming into this narrow triangle and if we break it we will go and escape this yellow line up to that orange line over there that's a twenty-two thousand us dollar level level so that is the target of this breakout in my opinion the first target if it wouldn't have broken out we would have fallen down to the 16k level we can beautifully delete that line now it especially followed this one so you can see i made it over here the 17th of october somewhere already had that chart i think on the on on on, on my map on my chart that line so now if we could go for that line and break that level as well we will go and hunt for that red line coming down and that would be around the 23,000 us dollar level and that is a 200 daily moving average that we are going to hunt for and if we zoom out a little bit more we can see that that line is a line here with a two uh, with a 200 weekly moving average is this red line on the top that should be our goal to go for and break of course in my opinion we can also go sideways for some more time from the red line we to the purple line back to the red line to the purple line back to the red line we can go back to the purple line and slowly increase by that way these moves are all possible bitcoin we can't predict the future um, and um, we, we cannot <laughs> change the past. We don't want to change the past, in my opinion. Um, but here on the weekly chart, we can also see like we came out of that pattern. That downward trend line was broken with a beautiful close of the candle last week. And this candle is going up and closing in like 15 hours. And it's clo <laughs> probably closing above the previous candle, which is a long and which is a positive bullish uh, engulfing over there. 
We are breaking the midline now of the Fibonacci level. You can see that we are fighting that one, the red line. It's the midline of the Fibonacci level. If we break that, we go to the top of the Fibonacci, which exactly is at the uh, 200 weekly moving average at 23,700. Could be a really, really beautiful week. And if we close this week, uh, we are also closing the month. And that would mean that in one day and 16 hours, uh, we will be closing a positive month since a long, long time. Because we had a shitload of red months, we had a small green month, again red month, but now again a green month. Is this green month going to close around that red line? I don't know. Maybe we are going to go up a little bit more in November. But that this green close is higher than the previous monthly close, and that we saw the touch of that um, 300 weekly moving average almost two times is another indication to me that the bottom should be in. This beautiful MACD on the bottom is turning from darkish red to light red. Like if we look back in the uh, history, for example, in this period over here, let's see if I can show it. And um, look, in that period when we turned from dark red to light red, light red on the MACD, the bottom was in. And that happens every time and now again we are seeing that so yes it could be beautifully um, that the bottom is in and that we are starting to turn bullish a little bit more so no shit low drops to 15k or 12k but sideways movements and that is what you see on the next couple of charts guys on the next couple of charts i want to share with you is um, let me see these over here this is the first one um, I mainly find these charts on Twitter, guys, and then just share them with you um, to share also other opinions. Because this is the bearish opinion. And on this bearish opinion, um, people are saying, okay, uh, last time we bought it at minus 84% after 364 days. And that time before, 85% after 411 days. At the moment, we um, saw a bottom around 220 days. But if you look at this area, you can see that in both in this area, both other bear markets dropped the last 10% that you see from 75 to 78. They were also hovering around this level over there and then bam, they dropped. So is this going to happen? Are we going to drop uh, another 10% to minus 84% levels? That is all depending on how that we see the market. But if you look at this chart it would say yes and if we look at the fibonacci retracement levels it would say no because we already fell deeper than the previous markets now the thing that i want to tell you now is that it is not that really important because the most important thing that you need to understand is for example this cycle and this cycle um, means this one is made by charts by btc by the way this one is showing the halving price index and at the moment we are at a level level of 2.4 we have never been that low uh, in a bear market like we, we can see this one was here you know there was 16 this one was um, still around the level of 6 and now we are at 2.4 because um, we were at the bear market at 8k uh, 8300 times 2.4 is now the level we are 20k so do i think we will drop even lower no i don't see this happening i think that this perfect timing that the bottom is in and that we can go and build up again to higher levels. And that is what I see. And then in 2024, we will get the next halving. And that is what you see on this chart. We have uh, four epochs. So we have the genesis to the first halving. Then we have the <clears throat> first to the second halving, the second to the third halving. And we are now in the third to the fourth halving. Mm. And if we look now uh, back, we can see this double top. We can see that we had a double top here as well, but there was a double blow off top. This time was a double distribution top. This time was a single blow off top. So this single blow off top. This Bitcoin does what it wants. Single, maybe single, double, single, double. Maybe the next one will be a single again. What we can see is that the logarithmic growth is still there. And we can also see that um, we are creating a bottom structure look the bottom structure looks like this the bottom structure looks like this and it's again looking like that and it means that we will go up again in the next bull run and that will be higher than this level of 100k if we consider the complete logarithmic then we could also go only to 90k 
that's like uh, if we look at the regression when it comes to uh, bottom to tops. <coughs> now we have another beautiful chart, and we that means uh, <laughs> me and my uh, whoever is next to me, someone nobody. But um, this chart is also showing exactly the same, and um, but here you get a little bit more information. And um, this one is also by Charles BTC. So at this period here, you had 50 bitcoins created like every. Um, block at the next halving 25 then to 12 and a half and we are now in the 6.2.5 bitcoins created every 10 minutes um so 1 million 312,500 uh, bitcoins will be created now the thing that you need to understand now is that why do always people like me say yeah we will go up again yeah we will go up again yeah the halving will make sure we will go up again now I'm going to try to explain it in a very short, quick way because people seem not to understand it completely and maybe I can make it a little bit more easy to understand. Like The halving means that the miner get less bitcoins as a reward for mining. Now, if you analyze a mining company, then you know that any mining company and every mining company in the world has an amount of fixed cost. They mostly rent huge buildings. They have employees, they have electricity costs, they have other overhead costs. All of those costs, they will still stay the same. Or now with electricity, maybe a little bit more expensive. So if these costs stay the same during the next halving, but they will receive less Bitcoins in return of the cost that they are making for the mining, then they are going to lose money. So the miners, are winning because the price of Bitcoin will increase. Yes, they will receive less Bitcoins daily, but the Bitcoin price needs to increase so they can still cover their cost and make profit. And that is what happened. And that game is correlating with demand and offer, exchanges selling or not selling their Bitcoins, miners selling or not selling. So it's one huge industry that is now depending also on the Bitcoin price increasing in value because else it's not sustainable anymore. Now, all of these factors and many more guys, they are hanging together. So that's why I always am saying, um, just chill, buy and DCA, because in the end, we will see another bull run cycle. If it is only times four, like 20K times four is 80K. If it's times seven, then it's 140K. If it's times 10, it's 200K. Maybe we will get a massive blow off top of 300K. At least we know that the next halving is 24 and then 28 so around 2030 will be a higher level so you can make yourself financial independent in the next uh, eight years i think even in the next four years if you do it very, very smart and this is why you should say i buy bitcoins and you should say goodbye to the banks say hello beautiful decentralized lifestyle hello beautiful decentralized currency that nobody can take from me that i can take with me in a ledger or memorize my seed phrase and go all over the world and spend my bitcoins and say bye to the banks that try to stop you from all doing all that what i just said and then at the end you will be living the bitcoin standard just like we as a family have been living the bitcoin standard now for almost six years bankless just on bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies now i hope today's video was a little bit clear i hope you understand now how i look at the market um, if you did like the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment what do you think are you still waiting for the 15k and the 12k you could miss um, this beautiful run that we are going to see um, if you are thinking now oh, didi you're right then let me know that as well in the comments please comment because youtube loves it when i see and receive comments thank you receive comments not see comments thank you for watching guys and see you tomorrow again Bam.